What's up, TikTok? Um, if y'all don't know, my name is a real rock and roller, but on YouTube, I go well wet by the name of Cyrax. But, um, anyways, I'm gonna make this video as short as I can because this is a very serious situation that needs to be talked about, which is YouTube not giving a single flying fuck about their creators. And you're probably thinking, well, what do, they, what do you mean by they don't care about their creators? Well, allow me to explain. I have been the victim of a troll community known as the Council of Hate, or more commonly known as the Council of Eight, since 2017. These people have done everything to ruin my life. And YouTube does nothing about it. These people initially targeted me because I looked different. And they saw me as a quick cash grab. And they saw that I had a massive following during the time when I was really popping off on YouTube. I just started to get up there in the thousand subscriber mark. Started to do good. And they saw me as a potential money grab. So what did they do? They did everything they could to push everyone that I care about and my fan base away from me. So they can use me for money. When you're probably thinking, well, how did they do that? Allow me to explain that to you. These freaking people decided to go in and make me look like a fucking pedophile. So that no one would come near me. I would have no support. And no one would want to be around me. Now, what they did was they hired one of the biggest hated YouTubers on the platform known as Mass Troll Mafia to pretend to be a grown ass 18 year old adult female on a phone call with me. They got her to get on a phone call with me and then she had been talking to me for a few weeks on and off and then she tricked me into sending certain photos. Now as you guys are aware all across the board, 18 year old, 18 years is a grown ass adult. We all know this. This is common knowledge. When really she's 30 some odd years old. But it wasn't what she did on the phone that made it bad. It's what she did afterwards that made it so fucked up. She sat right there on a text message right after our phone call and admitted that she was supposedly underage after sending an image of who I thought was her at the time to me. She sat there, sent an image of herself or who, what she claimed to be was her to me and then claimed to be underage. And ever since then, I've lost my job with Twitch because I was actually a a very well a very well respected streamer I was actually doing very well for myself I had gotten some of my dream sponsors that I wanted to back up my YouTube or not my YouTube but my Twitch career I was doing very well and ever since then because of these people I can't get a regular job I can't do nothing because these people want to sit there and lie to YouTube's face about everything. Reason why I got banned from Twitch is because of the fact that these people went in and lied and said that I was doing something that I was not doing. And these same people that did this are the same ones that lie to YouTube. They're the same ones that lie on their counterclaims, falsifying information. And this isn't the first time they've done this. They've done this multiple times to me, as well as to several other people. Now, the second time what they did was, first off, they got my dad, not my biological father, but my dad, because I am adopted. They got my dad, who helped to raise me, to disown me on a live stream by lying to his face. And then what did they do afterwards? They hired this guy named Tips TV, who's a friend of theirs, to threaten me. Because what he did was he pretended to try to be an underage female. He pretended to be a 15-year-old female 
Which, in turn, I flat out said, look, I know you're not underage. I know you're of age. How old are you really? And who are you? Tell me the truth. And when they would not tell me the truth, I proceeded to block that person. Because I saw right through the bullshit. Now, you're probably thinking, well, what does that have to do with my dad? Well, let me tell you what Tim has to do with my dad. He threatened to help my dad sue me and my family for stuff that my dad cannot even sue us for. Because my dad tried to sit there and say that some shit was going on that wasn't going on and shit like that. So Tibbs basically told me that, hey, you either need to fess up and admit that you're a pedophile or I'm going to help your dad sue you. And me not wanting to go against my own dad, because granted, yes, my dad might not be the best dad in the world. He may be a piece of shit sometimes. But as a human fucking being, I still care about my dad. And I would never want to go to war with my own blood, with my own family. I would never want to go to court and face my dad, because that's my dad. Even though he's a piece of shit at times, I still love him and care about him. And would not want to go against him. So, I did what I had to do and told Tibbs that I was this and that and the other. Also, he would fucking leave me alone because I felt trapped. And you know what's sad? YouTube allows this kind of behavior. YouTube allows this kind of behavior to go on on their platform. And they don't just do this to me. They do this to other people. They lie to YouTube about copyright claims. Falsifying information. For prime example. One of the major YouTubers that likes to come after me. Is N-Word Boy. And his little group called the Council of Eight. Or more commonly known as the Council of Hate. Now, what does N-Word Boy do? I go to do a copyright claim on his videos that are actually my videos. He turns around with a fake copyright counterclaim, falsifying information, lying on the information, providing false information to YouTube just so he can keep the videos. It's because of people like N-Word Boy and all his friends like Southern Harlots and all these other YouTubers that I am not able to do what I want to do with my life. And like I said, I'm not the only one they do this to. They do this to several people. I've witnessed this myself. YouTube needs to make it to where these people cannot do this. YouTube has made it to where only major YouTubers when you're on the level of PewDiePie and Jacksepticeye and all these other major YouTubers, only then are you allowed to reach out to an actual staff member. That shit needs to change. That kind of shit needs to fucking change. They need to make it available for everybody across the fucking board. Because there are situations like this one, what I'm dealing with every day, that these people are allowed to get away with. Because YouTube doesn't do anything about it. Now, if you do agree that YouTube needs to get off their asses and do something about this shit, because like I said, I'm not the only one that they target. They target people like this other dude who has severely, severely special needs, Chris Chan. They target people with mental illnesses, such as a guy named Daniel Larson. And YouTube doesn't do anything about it. YouTube allows this kind of behavior to go on. Like I said, I've been a victim of this shit since 2017, and I feel like it's time to put a stop to this. So if you do agree with this, share this around, and let's make some fucking noise. Peace.